everyone welcome to getting it done with carol today guys i am so excited because you see this wall right in front of you well we are going to transform this wall with shiplap yes we are going to put shiplap on this wall now guys let me tell you at first i had a couple of ideas at first i was going to do a board batten wall and then my husband and i bought some tiles we was going to tile this wall and then my husband was in lowe's one day and he said baby i have something i need to show you and he showed me some shiplap. And I mean, it was really nice. I really loved it. I was like, oh, well, maybe we'll do a shiplap on that wall. And my husband said, but babe, we already bought the tiles. But I said, you know what? I think I'd rather have the shiplap. Then he was like, well, what are we gonna do with the tiles that we already purchased? I said, well, maybe we could use them around the house for another project. So I am so excited about making this wall an accent wall. So the next stop on this train will be how to transform your wall with shiplap. So let's get going. So right here, as you can see, we are moving all the decor off the wall. And then my husband is going to remove the screws that was in the wall and also the anchors because we need a flat surface. So right here, he's just taking a screwdriver just to get that last anchor out. And now he's working on a light switch plate. He wants to remove that from the wall. And also the thermostat. Now he's not going to remove the whole thermostat. He just want to loosen it up from the wall so that he can get the shiplap behind it. Okay, let me show you the shiplap that we purchased. Okay, here it is. It's reclaimed wood shiplap. Okay, one box covers 10 and a half square feet. And the color is weathered gray. Look at this color, guys. It is beautiful. Now, I'm going to tell you the price. We paid $24.97 per box, okay? And we purchased 10 boxes, which totaled $249.70. Now inside of each box, there are three different sizes, which is pretty good. They have the long ones, medium sized ones, and small ones. So that really helps when it comes to installing. Now right here, my husband is adding the first row at the bottom. Now on the back of each of the shiplap, he used um, liquid nail, and also he used a nailing gun to adhere it to the wall. Now right here, he took two two by fours with a weight to press against that bottom row. So what he's doing, he's applying pressure to make sure it adheres too, because remember we have to build on top in order to get to the top of this wall. So he noticed that it's not applying enough pressure. So he went and got a six by six and he took some wood slats to add more pressure at the top and he let that sit for about an hour. So here he is um, applying the shiplap. He removed the plate so that he can fit this shiplap on top of the bottom. Now, as I mentioned previously, make sure you apply some liquid nail or some form of glue on the back before nailing. I forgot to bring something to your attention. As he builds up, Cause there's a little groove that that shiplap goes on top of the next one. He then nails the um, seam of the of the one that's on top of that groove. If it makes sense, do you see how he's nailing the bottom of that shiplap that he put on top of that groove? 
just to make sure that it stays. And, and another thing I want to bring to your attention is since we are dealing with um, reclaimed wood, some of the boards are warped, okay? They are not all straight at all, okay? And some of them was even a little cracked because they are pretty thin. So keep that in mind whenever you, you know, if you used to go out and purchase it, keep that in mind. You might find some cracked and you definitely gonna find some warped. So what I did was I took some of the warped ones and I laid them out in our hallway to try to flatten it out some. As you open your box, make sure you pay attention to the colors, okay? You'll find some lighter ones and you'll find some darker ones. It's better to mix the light and the darker one as much as possible so that your finished look will look evenly with the random colors. So he's going to continue to repeat the same steps, cutting, gluing, and nailing until he gets to the top of the wall. You know what guys, I don't know what I would do without my AKA handyman, my husband, because he does all the projects in this house. And I am just so blessed and so thankful. Now right here, my husband is just loosening up that thermostat plate just a little bit, just to make sure that ship lat fit um, flat against the wall behind the thermostat. Now guys, it was thundering and lightning like crazy. Now let me show you what happened. Power outage. Yes, honey, all the power went out in the house. We were in the dark. Now here I am holding a little light because my husband, being a warrior that he is, he was still trying to get it done. So I'm trying to hold the light as he switch boards to see which one fit and which one doesn't. And the out was out for like 20 minutes. So finally the light is back on and here I am holding a ship lap against the wall waiting for my husband to come with the nailer. So here I am handing my husband a ship lap. Um, he's asking for different sizes to see which one fit better for the space. And he's also checking to see which ship lap is warped and which one is not. Okay, now this is day two, and as you can see, he's further along with the shiplap. And as you are placing your shiplap on the wall, make sure they are staggered and not straight up and down. Okay, right here, I'm giving you a view of how much further he has to go. And this is what he's done already, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, now since he's almost to the top, we had to bring out the ladder. And right here, I am assisting him a little bit more because he's asking me to take the nailer to hand him a board. So right here, um, I'm just giving him a little bit more assistance. Now, while I'm assisting him, I am handing him the, um, the ship lap but these are some of the ones that we put to the side that was kind of warped. So he's making sure that when he adds the glue, he adds just a little bit more to the warp boards. And I also forgot to mention that this nail that he's using, these nails are so tiny that you cannot see them at all. They are really, really little. So, which is really good.
Okay, now he's all finished. Now I'm showing you the natural unfinished edge. Okay, this is what it looked like. If you prefer this look without trim, this is what it will look like. As for my husband and I, we are going to add a trim just to give it more of a finished appearance. Okay, now right here I am showing you the trim that we added in which it was the regular natural wood trim in which I stained gray to match the weather gray on the shiplap. We added some liquid nail to the inside of the trim and also some blue painter's tape to hold it in place. Here I am helping my husband hold the trim so he can take the measurement. And then he's going to add some liquid nails and place it back on this edge with some blue painter's tape. Okay, we left it like this for a total of 24 hours, okay? We let it stay like this overnight. Okay, here are the tools that you're going to need to achieve this look. You can use a table saw or you can use a miter box with a hand saw. Okay, are y'all ready for the reveal? Here it is. Our home feels so warm and cozy and inviting. This style of shiplap is unique and it really coordinates with our home. Hey guys, I really love how it sets the tone soon as you walk in our home. It really makes a statement. Now see, you don't have to spend a lot of money to achieve this look. It's a simple and a clean look which draws your attention. Mixing simple elements to reclaim wood really ties in very well. It gives it a clean and elegant look. By adding texture and dimension, really make the space feel light and airy. Okay, here I'm showing you a recap on how it looked before. This is how the wall looked before on the left, and here how it looks now. Now, what a difference. By adding different elements to a space, it can transition the state of your home. And that will do it for this video. Until next time, keep on smiling, stay encouraged, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.